So you never know. Okay, we are recording. Welcome everybody to the call tonight. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me as your guest. My name is Eric Johnson. I am the creator and CEO of Teamsy. And uh, some of you may already be using Teamsy. Maybe some of you are just curious because it's the hot thing to talk about right now in the Zingular community, which is pretty cool. Um, here's what I'm going to do tonight. Tonight, I'm going to teach you how, to, how Teamsy works. I'll show you the workflows, how to do a power hour incredibly efficiently. You can get all of your income producing activities done in less than an hour every day. How many people think that's a good idea? So I'll show you how to do that. Um, but I also want to teach you a little bit about relationship marketing, which is the system Teams is built on. It's not just software that makes your life easier. It's actually an approach, a system, a way of doing the business. So I want to teach you a little bit about that as well. So you have some background in that. And I think you will really enjoy that part of the training. So um, let me just dive right in. By the way, last night, my Zoom actually dropped for the first time in three years. So if that happens for any reason, stay on. I will be right back, okay? Um, okay, where am I going here? Here we are. This is what I want to talk to you about first. How to systemize your success with relationship marketing to become a power hour boss. So there's a lot of stuff there, right? But that's what I'm going to teach you tonight. The system. How to build relationships systematically and get it all done in less than an hour a day. My background, just to give you guys a little bit of introduction from, for me, my background is actually not in direct sales and network marketing. My background is as a professional business coach and consultant. I've been teaching people to build their business based on re authentic relationships for 19 years now. And um, that's been my career and it's just been kind of a, um, a journey of passion teaching people that. Um, primarily working in the real estate industry, not in direct sales. But what happened to me about five years ago is I fell into the direct sales world by accident. I found some products that were life-changing for me. And, um, and I was just really excited about what was happening for me personally. And I was telling people about it. I wasn't a distributor. I was just telling people, this is what I'm doing. And, and just kind of excited with everybody around me. How many of you guys started out that way? And um, just to kind of give you some context of where I, wh where I was five years ago, um, here's a shot of my family. I'm incredibly blessed. I have it's just an amazing wife and four kids. And, you know, um, five years ago, I was on top of the world career-wise. I, feel, I felt like, you know, I had gained a lot of respect. I made a good income. Um, I was kind of at the top of the business coaching and consulting trajectory. There was really nowhere else for me to grow. The problem was, was I felt completely stuck in a rut. Um, financially, we were just making ends meet. I mean, we made good income, but somehow we managed to use it all. You guys relate to that? Also, um, you know, I never saw my family. I felt like I was missing them completely. My kids, I would see them in the morning. They'd be dressed in their pajamas still because they're just waking up when I left for work. In the evening, I'd get home. They'd be back in pajamas getting ready for bed. I, I sat down and I thought, you know, uh, they're going to be grown before I see them in regular clothes. <laughs> You know, I'm just missing out. And so a friend of mine who, who was, you know, my representative for the products that I was so excited about, he said, you know, you should think about becoming a distributor. This could create some extra income for you. And, and I took a look at it and I was very, very skeptical. But, you know, after I looked at it, I thought, you know, this could actually work for me. It could create the freedom of time that I want with my family, it could create the freedom of uh, financially that I want. My challenge was, and maybe this, maybe you guys can relate to this, when in the world am I going to work on this business? I already felt like I didn't have any time. And so I started really looking at my calendar. I said, you know, if I could get, just get one hour a day into this, maybe I could do it if I could be, if I could be really focused and effective during that one hour. So I started looking for tools to help me leverage the one hour I had to build this business. Long story short, guys, I didn't find anything. That's why you're listening to me tonight because you haven't either right? I didn't find anything for this industry. So I found, I, I started writing some ideas in a notepad and I found some people smarter than me and we built Teamsy. Just, just so you guys kind of know how it came to be. And, um, and after I started using it, I realized other people might want it. And so four years ago, we released Teamsy to the marketplace. And in just under four years, we've had more than a hundred thousand network marketers use Teamsy, which is so mind-blowing and humbling for me. And, you know, just as it's working with Zingular, where somebody finds it and it just spreads like wildfire through family and, and a community, that's what happened. 
and it's been incredible. And so I'm excited that you guys are part of our Team Z family. And I want to, before I jump into my presentation, I just want you to understand what kind of results people are getting typically when they're using Team Z. So our active users, active users are averaging 21 new customers and nine recruits over 90 days. Okay. Active users are averaging 21 new recruits. I'm sorry, 21 new customers and nine recruits over 90 days. Pretty cool. Okay. So let's get back into this. What is relationship marketing? What is relationship marketing? A lot of people are using this phrase suddenly. It's become kind of a buzzword in our industry. I think most people think relationship marketing is like, you know, trying to sell stuff to your friends, right? Or um, trying to leverage your relationships to build your business. At least that's what people feel like we're doing to them. But I want you guys to understand something. You need to have the right heart. Your heart has to be in the right place for the system I'm going to teach you to work. And you need to understand that relationship marketing, it's a philosophy of doing business that puts relationships and people ahead of sales and products. Okay, it puts relationships and people ahead of sales and products. It's not some abstract feel good concept. This is a proven system that we follow, always knowing what to do next. Okay, it's a proven system we follow, always knowing what to do next. I've been teaching this system for 19 years and I've never worked with a business owner who didn't see success applying relationship marketing in their business. Okay, so also another thing I want you guys to understand is that relationship marketing is a lead generation system. It's a lead generation system. That's a system that initiates consumer interest or inquiry into the products or services of a business. Why am I kind of giving you this boring definition? I want you guys to understand something. You are business owners. And your business is not marketing and selling the amazing products that Zingular has to offer. As the owner of the business, you are in the lead generation business. That is your business. Your business is this, uh, employing a system that will initiate consumer interest or inquiry. Are you guys with me? And you got to get that in your head right now. It's a mindset shift. You're not just a salesperson, you're a business owner and your job is to generate leads. Now here's the good news in relationship marketing. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. So in other words, we're going to generate leads, in other words, meet people, so that we can build relationships with them. That's as simple as I can put it. And when your focus is on building authentic relationships, your business will grow. Why is that so important? Because we turn relationships into advocates by investing time and providing outstanding service. We turn relationships into advocates by investing time and providing outstanding service. I'm pretty sure there is nobody in direct sales teaching this right now. And it is the most important thing for you to know about your business is that we want to build advocates. Our whole industry is focused on this yes or no approach. So you're going to talk to somebody, they're going to give you a yes or a no, right? When they say no, we throw them away like a dead body over our shoulder. We keep moving forward. Here's what I want you guys to know. There are people who, Jackie's laughing. She knows that's, how, that's what's taught, right? The, there are people who are never going to buy from you and never join your team who will be happy to be your advocates, who will bring people to you, who will introduce people to your business. This is how we grow our business, is we create community, we create relationships, we serve people, people understand what we solve, and they bring people to the solution. Make sense? If I was an electrician and you knew I was really great at it, who would you tell your friends to connect to when they had electrical problems? Right? It's the same thing in your business. Okay, next principle. Relationship marketing depends on trust. It depends on trust. In other words, if you're a jerk, this ain't going to work. And you can't, yeah, it's true. How many of you guys are, have come across people in our business who are a little jerky? That's being nice, right? That's being nice in the South. They say, bless your heart. <laughs> that means you're a jerk. No, but seriously, this depends on trust, which means we cannot do anything disingenuous. We cannot do anything sneaky or tricky. No bait and switch approaches. No surprise, I'm gonna, I'm gonna present my business to you at lunch. All of that stuff that has been done since the 70s in our business, it erodes trust. It makes people skeptical. It makes our friends guarded when they, when they know we're network marketing. 
But I want you guys to know there's a better way to do it, a, an authentic way that builds and deepens on trust. Make sense? So here's the fun thing. When there's trust, it's fun. When somebody trusts you, you don't have to convince them. You don't have to sell them. They just, they're ready to be helped, right? Also, there's no ickiness. How many of you are really worried about coming across as the icky, spammy salesperson? That's me too. I hate rejection. Why do you think I teach this system and have honed it for 20 years? Because I hate rejection. But I still think that even though 90% or maybe 95% of people are deathly afraid of being rejected, right? So they need a system like this that lets them do it without being icky. Also, you get to go for yes. Forget the going for no stuff. Getting no's doesn't get you closer to yeses. Just so you guys know. Getting no's doesn't get you closer to yeses. We get to go for yes. By building relationships and focusing there first, we're gonna generate a lot more yeses and we're not gonna generate no's. Okay, so how do you build trust? Let's go through it really quick. I'm gonna teach you the four essential ingredients to building trust. Then we'll jump into Teams and I'll show you how we can actually apply all these principles on Teams, okay? Here they, go. Here they are. Number one is chemistry. Number one is chemistry. Number two is character. Okay, character. Number three is competence. Competence. And number four is consistency. Chemistry, character, competence, consistency. Okay, you got those? Now let me explain these for you. Chemistry is where you have common ground with someone. What is it about you they can relate to? Okay, chemistry is where you have common ground with someone. What is it about you they can relate to? Nobody wants to do business with someone they don't like. True? Our first job is to connect. Find out what, is, what, what makes them tick. What do you have in common? How can you connect with this person? Right? Everybody wants to do business with a friend. Nobody wants to do business with someone they don't like. Our first job is building chemistry. Number two is character. Character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you're relatable. Okay, definitely write this down because it's different than probably the definitions you've seen on character. Character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you're relatable. I want you guys to notice something about this. You don't actually have character. Character is something we do. Character is an action we take. It's a daily commitment. Is it important for, how, let me see hands if it's important to you to do business with a company or an individual of good character. Absolutely. So the number one thing, that's the number one thing everybody feels. So we need to demonstrate our character to people. They need to see how much we care. And look, I just want you guys to think about this. How am I demonstrating my character? I'm going to post on social media. Is this post showing how much I care for the people who are going to see it? Or is it all about me? Um, I'm driving my car on the highway. Am I demonstrating care for others? Or is it all about me, right? Am I returning the shopping cart in the grocery store parking lot? <laughs> Sorry, that's just, a, that's just a little personal mission. I'm trying to spread the word on that one. I think that's a really good idea to return the cart in the parking lot. Okay. Or help the people who can't return theirs. That's another thing that people should be doing more. Okay. Character. Everything that we do is character. Right? And I want you to think about it. How am I demonstrating? How does this demonstrate my character? How, do, how will people know what kind of person I am and want to do business with me? Because uh, it's not really about Zingular. It's more about you. Does this make sense? Number three is competence. Number three is competence. And competence is when you demonstrate that you're good at what you do and you're a business person. Okay, competence is when you demonstrate you're good at what you do and you're a business person. There's two pieces to this. The first piece is, have you become an expert on everything Zingular has to offer? Do you understand how it works? Do you understand the, the, the problems that you can solve with these products? Do you know how to leverage your product line to help other people? If I come to you with a problem and a goal, can you help me solve it? Will I trust you to solve it, right? That's the first piece. The second piece is, are you a good business person? Are you somebody who will mentor me in this business? Do I believe you could help me be successful? And, and this industry is primarily made of people who don't have experience in business. This is where you're learning it as you go, right? You're learning how to be an entrepreneur, so you need to be demonstrating to people your competence in these two areas. If you've been, how many of you have been doing this? You've been at it for years with Zingular. So you guys would probably feel pretty confident, right? 
talking to me about my problems. You know, let's say I need to lose 50 pounds for a health problem. You could probably help me pretty confidently. A new person might not feel that confident. So for the new people watching the call, either live or on recording, I want you to know the last thing we ever want you to do is pretend to be something you're not. So don't fake it. When you're new, what you need to do is you need to talk about the confidence of your upline and of your team. Tell them how amazing they are. Tell them the stories. Tell them how they've helped countless people, including you probably, okay? And lean into your upline. When it comes to joining the team, lean into your upline. Hey, together we're gonna be mentored by the best. However, at the same time, you need to get on a journey of gathering that information and gathering that confidence. Start learning and just share your process with people right? Hey, I just learned this. Did you guys know how important hydration is for losing weight? I just learned this. Here's a great article I found on it. Hey, I'm learning this too. Did you know this? And let people see your education process so they can see you building confidence. Make sense? Remember, your friends and family have seen you with your pants on backwards. They need to see that something has changed for them to trust you in this area. Does it make sense? Okay. So chemistry, character, competence, the first three ways to build trust. Real quick before I jump into number four, I want to give you a principle that underlies these. When somebody who's thinking about doing business with you, they only care about these three things. Can I trust you? Do you care about me? Are you good at what you do? Can I trust you? Do you care about me? Are you good at what you do? Now, most people don't ask these out loud. They're more something they feel in their heart. And if you look at these questions, think about a company or a product or a person you fired from your life and ask yourself, was it because of one of these? So this is our job. When we build relationships, we're building these questions for people. Yes, I'm going to, I'm going to earn your trust. I'm going to show you repeatedly and consistently how I care for you. And you're going to, through my service, understand how incredibly competent I am. Does this make sense? That's when you have trust. When somebody says yes, 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 you've got an advocate. You've got somebody who will cross the street to bring somebody else to your business, and that's the goal. Okay, next, number four is consistency. Oh yeah, it's important, right? If you want people to trust you, you gotta be consistent, right? Here's the great principle on this. People respect consistency and they desire it for themselves. People respect consistency and they desire it for themselves. Not only is being consistent essential to earning trust but people want to be around it how many of you guys have been told that you're an inspiration to somebody right isn't it humbling what do you think it is that makes you such an inspiration you still put your pants on one leg at a time right i've tried the two legs at a time it really doesn't work it usually ends in a humiliating fall right um People respect consistency, desire it for themselves. This is what inspiration is. They see you being consistent. They see you doing things that are not easy for most people to do consistently, and they're inspired by it. Being consistent will earn trust. It will also build your team because people want to be around it. People want to stay on the team because they love the community, the family. They love the fact that here's a group of people who are not following the status quo of everybody else that are doing other things. They're consistently building better habits into their lives. This makes sense? This consistency not only will build trust for you, but it will build your team and the community of your team. All right, so real quick for you guys, just a couple of quick questions. Actually, I'm gonna, let me look at your faces. Turn your cameras on if you have them off. If you're in the other room making a sandwich, come back quick. Okay, how many of you are, are consistent products of your product? You use your products, it's part of your lifestyle and everybody knows it. Okay, good. That's good. Okay, Jack, you can feel good about that. Um, they, they at least are smart enough to raise their hand, even if, they, you know, even if they don't mean it. Okay, how many of you, I'm just kidding. How many of you are, are pretty consistent about sharing your journey, sharing what you're doing on social media and with your friends and family and things like that? Almost, almost everybody still, which is great. A couple of you are probably just hard on yourself, even though you're doing it, you don't feel like you're doing it enough. That's okay, I'm one of those people. Um, here's the thing though, the real checkup from the neck up. How many of you are consistent about staying in touch with the people you know? And it's okay, it's okay that you guys are like doing this because that's why I'm here. That's my point. That's why I'm here with you tonight. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this, but it is essential. It is essential. Okay. If you want to build relationships, you have to be in contact with people. Oh, wait, I hit the play button. You got to be in contact with people if you want to have relationships with people, okay? 
It's a contact sport, as I like to say. There's no other way to do it. Here's the big principle of the night. Make sure you get this one. Investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Investing time and connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Okay, just really quick on this, just give you a quick example. How many of you have ever received a card or a letter with a handwritten message in it from somebody you love that was just amazing? Like when you read it, it was like, oh, I love this. Have you guys ever received one of those? Let me see your hands. If you're not raising your hand, put your address in the chat and we will, we'll all write you one because okay? you need to have a good one like that. Okay, how many of you keep those, those cards and letters like that? When you receive one, you, you, can't, you can't bear to throw it away. You've got a stash of them somewhere, right? Yeah, we all do. It's, it's universal. Isn't that amazing how we keep those? It's amazing. You know, often when we, when, when we pass on, I, our loved ones keep the cards and letters that we had as precious things. How, do any of you have a card or letter from someone who's passed on that you treasure? Isn't that amazing? Not only do we treasure it, but our loved ones treasure them, the same ones even more. Okay, here's another example. This is a happy birthday postcard that I received from my life insurance sales representative. Have you, have, have you guys ever received a postcard for your birthday from somebody that you do business with? Is it nice to get? Does this, is this kept in a special stash of your, of your most prized cards? This gets thrown away, doesn't it? Right, pretty much immediately. I mean, there's no way my son Cruz is gonna, this is gonna be his bookmark in, in the Bible when I'm gone, right? I gotta remember dad, his life insurance uh, guy sent him a happy birthday postcard, right? This actually, we don't value this at all. Even though it's a nice sentiment, we don't value it at all. Now let's just kind of look at the principle I just taught you. This required no investment of time, so it has no value. This is not a personal connection. This is a bulk mailing, so it made no impact. Does this make sense? This is the point, you guys. If you want to build a business based on relationships, you need a way to systematically connect personally and invest time in people. Now, you don't need to invest so much time that all you're doing is writing people handwritten cards all day long. However, whenever you can think of a good reason to write somebody a card, you should, because they will keep it forever, by the way. <laughs> they will keep it forever. If I was you guys, I would have a really pretty zingular blank note cards made up and ready to go. So I could send them my favorite customers every once in a while. But what I'm gonna show you tonight is how you can really make an impact by taking a few seconds, literally, and investing them in a text message or a direct message on Facebook or something like that, it's enough to make somebody's day, okay? And as, you, as simple as that sounds, it's just not done. And so if you can get yourself in what I call the make someone's day mindset and spend 30, 40 minutes a day just focusing on making people's day, you can create so much energy and trust and love in your business that it sustains itself all the time. Isn't that cool? I'm going to show you guys how to do it in Teamsy right now. Let me just give you one more little slide here because... I can tell that you guys are kind of enjoying some of these principles that I'm sharing with you. It's resonating with you. But I want you guys to understand that the philosophy is not enough. You need a system. You got to have a system, a way to stay in contact with all your relationships, you know, without your arms and legs falling off. You need to know when you're going to contact them, when you're not going to. In other words, a system that just says, go connect with these people today. Don't have to think, don't have to plan. Know what you're going to say when you connect with them. So you're not staring at the screen all day long. Oh my gosh, what will I say? And then getting nothing done. Who's been guilty of that before? Me. I'm going to call myself on that one. And then make sure that nobody falls through the cracks. This is the biggest problem in our business is that so much energy is wasted. And then we let people fall through the cracks. Right? Okay. So let's jump over to Teamsy. Let's see real quick. First and foremost, if you're not already using Teamsy, I want you guys to know that we do offer a 30-day free trial of Teamsy. Okay? No strings attached. We don't ask for your credit card payment. We don't even check to see if your name is the real deal. Like, we don't care. Just use Teamsy for 30 days. I, you will fall in love with it. Okay? We give you a 30-day free trial. Why so long and not seven days or whatever like other people do? Because here's the thing, guys. When you come into this business, sometimes you spend the last dollar you have on your starter kit, right? I want your team members to be able to come in here with nothing and create momentum in their business so that they can 
um, have no problem paying for Teamsy by month two. Does this make sense? Okay. So when you first log into Teamsy, you're going to be in the setup wizard, which is designed just to help you set it up easily. And I, that's what's on the screen now. I'm going to walk you through it real quick. There's a little video for me. We'll skip that. You've got me live. All right. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to set your income goal in Teamsy. How much income do you want to be making? Okay. And so you can set it by sliding this little ball back and forth. You can go up really high, right? Or you can go down something more modest. So my goal was 150,000. That was my goal that I set the day, first day I had Teensy. Because I was trying to replace the income that I had built up in my career, but I wanted to do it without leaving, the, leaving my kids behind. So at that number, this is what Teensy, Teensy tells me now what to do every day. I need to connect with nine prospects, six customers, and four distributors on my team each day. Okay, and I wanna do that five days a week for a year to get to my goal. Now, if your goal goes down, you'll notice those, that those daily numbers adjust. Does this make sense? So once you have the number that you wanna start with, you click continue, and it sets Teamsy up in the background to that goal, okay? Now, those of you guys who are already generating significant income from your Zingular business, what I want you to do on that last page is set the amount you wanna see increase this year. Right? So let's say you're making $100,000 now and you want to make $150,000 next year. Just set your goal for fifty. dollars You with me? Okay. The next step here is we're going to get all our contacts into Teamsy. We're going to get them all in one place so that you can be organized, so that Teamsy can do something magical with your list and make sure that nobody falls to the cracks. But I don't want you guys looking for sticky notes with contact information or pads of paper that you can't ever find. <laughs> A couple of you are laughing because you know I'm talking to you. You've got 12 notebooks scattered all over the house. Which one are they in? I don't know. Is it in the car? Who knows? You're going to get them all into one place. You're going to get your team in here, your customers in here, your Facebook friends, your Instagram followers, everybody, phone contacts, get them all into Teamsy on one list. Then Teamsy can prioritize it for you and serve it to you every day. Does it make sense? Teamsy lives in the cloud, which means you will always have access to it. It's in your phone. You're at the grocery store, you meet somebody, you don't have to write it down on the back of your receipt. You open your phone, you put them right in Teamsy, you set your follow-up for tomorrow, and you forget about it. You guys with me? So we're gonna get all your contacts into Teamsy. The next thing, okay, so now, we're, now we've got it launched. Okay, so let me give you a quick tour of the Teamsy dashboard, and then we're gonna do one more setup thing, and then we'll do our power hour. So here's the Teamsy dashboard. I'm obviously on my computer. If you're on your mobile phone, it's gonna look a little di differently. At the end, when we do q and I'll show you the mobile phone pages if you guys want to see that. So here it is. Um, I've, got, uh, I've got on my dashboard, it actually shows me who it wants me to connect with next. And I'll, we'll get there in a second. But you can look anybody up you want right here in this little lookup bar to get their full contact record. So if I ran into you in the grocery store and I want to log that we talked, I'll look you up and log it. Make sense? Okay. Today's activities. See right here, today's activities? These are my goals for the day based on my income goal. So my goal again is to connect with nine prospects, six customers, and four distributors on my team. When I say connect, just to clarify you guys, when I say connect, I just mean make their day. I am not trying to sell. I'm not trying to recruit. I'm just trying to say hello and make their day, okay? And by, by approaching it that way, I have many more opportunities to have conversations instead of getting doors slammed in my face because I'm making it about me instead of about them. Make sense? The next, so I've got prospects, customers, distributors. The next goal for my day is to share three times. That's, that's me sharing the business opportunity or products with people. My goal is to do that three times a day. I'm going to connect with 19 people and share three times because not everyone's ready or interested in the share. Does this make sense? How many of you are married? Let me see the married folks. Can you imagine if your spouse, the first time you met them, if they said, hey, just want to let you know, I'd be really good for you. You really need me. Let's get married. <laughs> That's the way we approach our business, isn't it? When we say, I found Zingular. It's the greatest thing ever. You need this. It will help you. It's like proposing marriage when we first met. Let's say hello first. So that after my shares, I've got a goal also to just to add new people to Teamsy every day. Just constantly putting a couple of people into Teamsy, keeping it fresh. Are you guys with me? So those are my daily goals. If I can focus on doing this each day, by the way, this will always take less than an hour, then I can hit my goal in a year. So you, if you want a business that's big, you got to keep your focus small. 
Make sense? And now you will know what to do and your team will know what to do. So here's how we do it. The next part that we're gonna follow is my power hour module. See right here in the center? The power hour module is set up to help me be super efficient in, in reaching out to people. On the left side, I've got my lists, prospects, customers, distributors, and follow-ups. Okay, each list gives me only five names at a time. That's on purpose. That keeps me from getting overwhelmed. It keeps me from cherry picking the list and, and just focusing on working it instead, right? Um, the right-hand side is where I log the, me the message as I'm sending it so that I have everything tracked. And when I track, nobody falls through the cracks because Teamsy knows when to bring them back to me automatically. Pretty cool, right? So let me explain how, how Teamsy prioritizes the list for you. Notice that each person has a number next to their name. See those numbers? Those are their star ratings. We use a simple five-star rating system in Teams. You guys are familiar with that, right? We use it all the time. So let me just show you how this works. I'll go to the team page real quick. The team page is where all of your contacts live. The full list is there, right? Teams is a full-fledged CRM. That means it keeps track of all your contact information for you. You notice that when I click on somebody, it, it turns on their star ranking. And if I wanna change it, I just click it and it's auto, automatically changed and saved. But there is a cool mode in here when you're first setting up Teamsy, and I recommend you guys all do this in setup. Right here in this menu, you turn on rank mode and that turns it on for the whole list. So now I can scan my list and quickly rate people just from the gut on this five star scale. Okay, now notice that everybody's already three stars because as soon as you put people in Teamsy, they're three stars automatically. Because we know about 90% of your list will be three stars. So, so you only need to really look for your top people to get started. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scan my list looking for my favorite people and I'm gonna rank them five or four stars so that they come up first on my list. So let me just kind of explain how this works. People you rate five stars are gonna come up first on your list. These are the people you feel are, are most likely to join your team or be customers. They're your best friends, your closest family. Your favorite people are five stars. You're, they're gonna come up first and they're gonna come back automatically every 30 days. Every 30 days, Teams is gonna say, reach out to this person to make their day, okay? Four-star people are people you feel might join the team or be customers, they're warm leads, but maybe they just need a little bit of nurturing first. These are gonna be your friends and family, not like your inner circle, but your friends and family. Four-star people will come up next after your five stars and they come back every 60 days. So you're in touch with them every two months automatically without having to think about it. Three-star people, you guys, they show up after the four-star people and they come up every 90 days, okay? Three-star people, you don't know, they could go either way, who knows, until you start connecting with them. People that you barely know that you're friends with on Facebook, for example, would be three stars, okay? And so they're gonna come up every three months, you're gonna start working on building relationships with them. So the least amount of, the, the less, what am I trying to say? Fewer stars, they come up less often, right? Two star people will be every 120 days. Does this make sense? So the star ranking is super important. When you first set up Teams, you wanna scan down your list and find your five and four star people. Just, just at least get them so that you can get started with the right people. Okay, so once we've done that, we're now ready to do our power. Let's do it. So we're gonna always start left to right. Prospects first. So I'm gonna message the first person on my list. Teams, he's telling me to, to reach out to Jay. And so she's the first person I'm gonna message today. Now this is where I used to get stuck. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna say to Jay? How many of you get stuck right here? And I don't wanna send some cheesy, salesy, spammy message. I just wanna connect. So what we did was about two years into um, Teamsy, we started um, a scripts library because people were going, Eric, I don't know what to say. So we added a scripts library. So you can get to that right here. See where it says scripts? Even in a free trial, you have full access to the scripts library. Just grab a quick icebreaker script to start a conversation. I'm gonna message her on Facebook, so I'll pick one from there. And I'm just gonna take the first one on the list for a sample. Here's how it reads. Hi, Jane, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? I hope your day is awesome. Super simple, let's copy that script. Now, watch how this works. I'm gonna paste it in Teamsy so I can do some editing. Okay, so I've got to get the name changed because her name's not Jane. If you ever have somebody named Jane, it's great because that's the sample name. So <laughs> it's super easy, right? Okay, give me, give me, there we go. I got to put some emojis. I'm, I'm addicted to emojis. So let me put a couple of emojis in there. So now I've got the message just the way I want it, right? You may need to change a couple words because it doesn't sound like you. That's fine. I know I've got a lot of people in the UK that say, we don't say awesome like you Americans. 
great. So just say, great, you know, whatever. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to copy this message now that I have it the way I want it and actually go send it to her. So I've got Facebook open right here. Okay. Let me just send her this message. So you look her up on Facebook. There she is. We'll send her this message. Boom, sent. So Teamsy helping me with what to say. Now I've sent it. Now I'm going to log it in Teamsy. That was a Facebook message. Do you see where it says log connect the blue button? Click that. It's logged. Now notice I've got one done, eight left, and this little blue circle starting to fill in. Next person on my list is Jackie. I'm just going to paste that same message in there and just change the name. Okay. Now I've got everything else the way I wanted it. I'm just going to do that so that I can be efficient. There she is. Okay. Send her that message. Do you guys see how easy this is? And don't overthink it. The first message is just a hello. You just want to get a response so you can have a conversation. So I'm going to log that one. That was a Facebook message and I'm going to click log connect. Okay. So I'll just keep doing the same thing until I hit my goal for the today. My goal was nine. So I'm going to message the next nine people. Maybe, I mean, depending on, on, how we connect, maybe I'll send a text. I primarily will send Facebook messages though for Facebook friends because the response rate is super great on Facebook. Okay, so I'm gonna work down my prospects list until my goal for today is met. In my case, it was nine. That blue circle will be all the way complete, which is my visual cue that I'm done with prospects for the day. Then I'll go to my next list, which is customers. And I'm now gonna connect with my customers. The first one on today's list is Lilith. And I'm gonna just look for a script to help me connect. Okay, and again, these are now customer scripts, which is great. So maybe I'll send her congratulations on great results. Do you guys ever have people get great results? Yeah. I just want you guys to know you're going to make more sales by saying you're doing great. I'm proud of you. Congratulations on losing six pounds than saying, do you need a refill on your, um, the bottle that's helped you lose the weight? Does this make sense? So you just want to check in and connect. So look, there's a, there's a nice little uh, congratulations script. Um, here's another one that's, that's great for checking in on people, especially when they go silent. Uh, Hi, John, how are you enjoying the, whatever his products is, are? Send me an update. Let me know how, how I can be of help. Asking them for an update is great because then you'll get their feedback, positive or negative, and it gives you a chance to talk to them about it. Makes sense? Um, I love this one too for customers. Hi, Jane, just checking in to see if there's anything I can do to make your day. So simple. Now, the reason why I'm sharing these scripts with you guys is because connecting with and building relationships with customers is as important as prospecting and people miss this in the business. And when I say customer, I don't care if they haven't bought from you in five years, they're still your customer. Keep them in your list, stay connected to them. Do you guys understand? They're a gold mine. They're a gold mine. Okay, so you want to stay in touch with your customers and keep connecting with them. As, just, just follow the system. As they come up, send them a quick message. Stay in contact. What happens is magical. When you are in regular contact with your customers, I just want you guys to talk to you guys about this real quick. When you're in regular contact with your customers, they order more product and they retain longer. Isn't that cool? They order more product and retain longer. It's a st statistical fact. So if you're just, just by being in regular contact, uh, you guys are going to find this month as you're using your Teamsy free trial and trying out Teamsy that you are going to be in contact with customers and you're going to see that happen. You're also going to see people come back and reorder, which is pretty cool. The other thing that's kind of, you know, in the beginning when I talked about building advocates and nobody's teaching this, when it comes to building your business and you want to build more, how many of you guys want some more awesome customers in your business? Can you think of at least one customer that you just love? Like they're just, oh my gosh, I just need to reproduce this person. Can you guys all think of somebody like that? Where do you go find those people? Is there a place where you can go looking for them? So I just want to, I'm going to tell you, don't worry. <laughs> I'll tell you where to find them. The best place to get a great new customer is from a current great customer. There's no better approach than getting introduced to people by people who already love and trust you. So how does this happen? How do you get introduced to these people? Step one is by being in regular contact. Hey, just checking in. Anything I can do to make your day? How's everything going? Send me an update. I'm here if you need me, right? Just checking in and being present. People are like, oh my gosh, this service is amazing. Okay. 
And then I'm talking to, um, I'm talking, is it LG or LG? LG? LG. So I'm talking to LG. She's my sample customer. And we're, we're in a regular context. So now I can just go, now I know that she's loving it. I just know that she loves Zingular. She's getting great results. I can just tell she's loving it. So I'm just going to say, you know, LG, I just wanted to say, I'm really proud of you. You've done amazing. I mean, look at the results you've been getting. And I know you're so excited about the results you're getting. And I'm sure you've been telling your friends and family about Zingular. And so this month, before I get too busy, I just wanted to reach out and see if there's anybody you care about that needs more information on these products because I want to take care of your people first because you're my favorite customer. Is there anybody that you've talked to that needs more info you know, that, that I can reach out to and, and help? She's going to go, yeah, I was talking to Jackie and Rhonda and Corey this week. Awesome. Would you mind introducing me to those ladies? Just whatever's easiest for you, LG, like a group chat or text message, just introduce us and just let them know that I'm, you know, your Zingular representative and I'll, and I'll get them some information. We'll take it from there. She says, sure. She does it right then and there. Usually now she's introduced me to three people. What does that mean for those three people? It means they trust me already. They trust me already because their friend introduced me to them. Does it make sense? So now I'm going to say, thank you so much for introducing me. And I'm going to reach out individually to each person. And I'm just going to say, hey, you know, I've been, you know that you've seen the results LG has been getting. How can I help you? What are you most interested in learning? Do you have some goals that you want to share with me? How can I serve you? And then you get to the point where you're now helping these three people. Guess what? I just, LG just gave me three awesome customers just like her. Guess what else she did? She just recruited herself to my team. Because now I'm going to go back to her and go, I don't know if you've ever considered doing what I do. But you, people obviously listen to you because you're, all three of your friends are interested. So if you'd like to talk about joining the team, we can set those three up under you and we can get you rocking and rolling today. Are, are you guys with me? Do you see how magical this is, staying in touch with your customers? And if those of you guys who haven't been in touch with your customers, I don't want you to feel bad about it. I just want you to be excited about the gold mine that you have. And you can just pick them up. You could just start connecting right now and you will start rebuilding those relationships with them. Does this make sense? This is so important. Okay, so this is why you need Teamsy. So you get, your, you get your customer list in there. And now every day you're connecting to, with a few customers. Over time, you're in regular touch with everybody. Okay, my goal is six. When I'm done connecting with the, my six customers for the day, I'll now move over to the next list, which is my team. And I'm going to connect with my team the same way. Hey, girl, I was just thinking about you. Or, hey, congratulations. I saw that you got your first sale. Hey, congratulations on ranking up. Hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. How's everything going? Okay, whatever the case may be, just reaching out to your team. If some of you have a small team and this is gonna be easy, but as your team grows and your success grows, you need this system to help you keep, manage the team. Okay, and they need to hear from you, not just on a Zoom, not just on a Facebook group or page. They need to hear from you personally. It, it, it beyond makes their day when the team leader messages you. Right, think about somebody upline it from you who you really admire and respect. How much would it mean for you to just randomly get a text telling, telling you that they're proud of what you've been doing? It means the world. By the way, that's why I named my product Teamsy, not salesy or leadsy or cheesy, okay? Because you have to build the team if you wanna build the business. It's about being a leader and building the team and connecting people with relationships, okay? Prospects, customers, distributors. First half of your power hour is so easy, you're just sending messages to people. Just make your day messages and you can use my scripts, okay? People are like, Eric, well, I've now contacted everybody and I've used your scripts. Like, well, now you should be good. You should be able to use your, your own words. After you've used my scripts for, for 2,000 messages, you should be good at creating messages now, right? So use mine to get started and then you'll be good to go. So um, a couple of pro tips on this. Some people will respond immediately. Don't run off and have the conversation in the middle of your power hour. Finish all the outgoing messages first so you don't get sidetracked, okay? And it'll just make you go faster because you'll be excited now to talk to somebody, real live person who came back and wants to talk, <laughs> okay? All right, the second half of our power hour is our follow-ups list. So we've reached out to prospects, customers, and distributors. These are just conversations to build the relationship. The follow-ups are people who, have been in who are interested, okay? So as we're talking to people and we discover people who are interested, we're gonna put them on our follow-ups list. We're gonna get a share with them. We're gonna share the business with them. We're gonna share products with them. Maybe a product solution with them, right? And then we're gonna put them on our follow-ups list and follow up like a professional. 
there's nobody on my follow-ups list automatically because this is, I'm going to identify the people who are interested and then put them on that follow-ups list. So this is like my business list. Are you guys with me? So let me show you an example. I messaged Jackie at the beginning of my power hour. She's excited to hear from me. She responds and says, oh, great to hear from you. It's been forever. How are you? You know, and it's just like, just a basic response. So now I have an opportunity to try to have a conversation with her. Not every time I try to have a conversation with somebody, will it turn into a great conversation? A lot of them are just going to fizzle out. And over time, though, that conversation will deepen. Does this make sense? But let's say we res she responds and I'm like, well, send me an update. What have you been up to? Tell me about what your family's doing. You know, what did you guys do over the holiday weekend? Did you do anything fun? I'm just trying to have a conversation and she's starting to give me her update. So as I'm pulling this update out of her, she's going to tell me about her kids and she's going to tell me about her career. She's going to tell me about what they're doing for fun. Isn't that what people do when you're catching up? And what would be the most natural thing for me to do? The same thing. I'm going to tell her what's going on with my life. I'm going to tell her what my kids have been into. And I'm going to tell her about my business. It would be really weird not to. Are you guys with me? And so now I'm just going to tell her, hey, I don't know if you know. And you guys, should, you guys need to figure out your story so that you, can, you need to practice with each, other, with each other to figure out your story. My story was something like this. I don't know if you know, um, if you know Jackie, but I left my job five years ago. Left my corporate job. I started my own home-based business so that I could spend more time with my kids. It's been the best thing I ever did. You know, I actually help people get healthy and lose weight, regain their vitality, and age in reverse. And not only is it fulfilling, but it's taking care of us financially. It's just been the best thing I've ever done. What is she going to say? Oh, is this one of those MLM things? And run No, she's going to go, wow, that's great. Good for you, Eric. Okay, so here's what I want you guys to get from this. You need to share what you do and why you're passionate about it. And it needs to be specific. Not I empower women. It needs to be specific. Okay, I help people lose weight. Is that what you're specializing? Great, tell people that. And why are you passionate about it? These, I actually lost 60 pounds myself. It was life-changing. And then I found... I started paying it forward by helping others. I found I was really good at it and it's been so rewarding. Let people know what you do and why you're passionate about it. Are you guys with me? Because that is how you share your business in a way that someone is always like, wow, good for you. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. I'm excited for you. And that's where you want people to be because remember, we're in the advocate building business. And the first thing we want everybody to know whether or not they're interested is they need to know what the problem is that you solve because you want them thinking about who they know who needs that solution. Does this make sense? So she's like, wow, this is great, Eric. I'm really glad. I'm really pr proud of you. Good for you starting your own business. That's great. And listening to her, listening to how she responds, I'm just going to ask her, you know, if, if I feel like she's enthusiastic about it, I'm just going to ask her, you know, let me know if you'd like more information on it yourself. I'd be happy to share anything, you know, I'd be happy to share about the products or about the business opportunity if you're interested in learning more. Just ask them, would you like to learn more about it? Don't be tricky. Don't be tricky about it. Just straight up ask people. Okay? And she says, you know what? I, I think I might be interested in learning a little bit more. Great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set an appointment with her. I'm going to bring her to the next level where, I'll, where I can really share it with her. If she says, no, thanks, that's great too. That's great too. If she says, no, thanks, I'm not really interested in that right now. No worries. You know what, Jackie? It was really great connecting with you. I just want you to know, though, that if you do come across somebody who needs help in this area, whatever it is you said you do. Will you please introduce them to me and connect me with them because I want to help as many people as I can. So what you do with no's is you plant the seed. You plant the seed. Basically, what I'm letting you know is subconsciously, you will be my advocate. Now, they leave the conversation thinking, that was a nice conversation. That's really neat what he's doing. And that's how you want your relationships to feel about your business in the beginning. Does that make sense? Most intelligent people are not going to go, Yes, present the business to me. It's great to talk to you after 20 years. Please tell me everything you're doing, right? How many of you guys were like that? It's gonna take a couple conversations. So let me, let me just show you how I do it in Teamsy. So she says, yes, I'd like to learn some more. I say, great, you know, why don't we do this? Um, why don't we set up a call? And, I, and um, because I'm kind of newish, 
I'm going to bring my upline on the call too, who's an expert. And we'll talk, you know, we'll just talk it through and let you, let you take a look at, at what we're doing. She says, great. So how would I put this in Teamsy? You notice that Jackie's no longer on my dashboard because I've already connected with her and she's gone into the Teamsy flow. She's not going to come back for 30 days. So I just look her up in this lookup bar, which brings me to her contact record. Okay. There's her full contact record where I have all of her details, notes on her. I have all of our conversations recorded here so I can see everything we've ever talked about with each other, which is cool. So what I'm gonna do is open this connect box just like on the dashboard. And let's say I got her on a three-way call. I'm gonna log that. And I'm gonna put my notes from our call here in Teamsy. And I want you to notice on the bottom left here where it says share, see that? So if, I, if this conversation is one where I shared the business or the products with her, I want to log it as a share, not just a connect. So I'm going to toggle on business opportunity. Okay. And as soon as I turn that to a business opportunity share, it activated the follow-up list. See that? It just turned it on. So now I can set a follow-up for any time in the future. I'm going to set it for tomorrow though. Okay. So when I log this now, a couple things happened. Just want to show you. On my dashboard, you can see it logged a share, one of my three for the day. And she's now on my follow-ups list due for tomorrow. Does this make sense? So when I do my power hour, as you're having starting conversations with people, your goal is to uncover people who, are, who show a little bit of interest, ask them if they'd like more, and then take them to the next level, just as you've been doing already. It's just that you're doing it in a little bit more organic, natural way and then get them on that follow-ups list. So the second half of my power hour is working the follow-ups. Now look, if you started Team Z today, you might not have anybody on the follow-ups list until next Monday because it takes a few days of having conversations to get there. Does that make sense? But once you start putting people on that follow-ups list, you'll always be putting people on there every day and that list is what's gonna be converting to business for you. So let me show you how I send a follow-up to Jackie tomorrow when I get to my follow-ups list in my power hour. I do it just like I did the other um, regular connects. I'll go to my scripts and I'm gonna pick a follow-up script. See how they're labeled? Follow-up one. I put 10 follow-ups in here in order for you to use, okay? These things are great. Here's how it reads. It says, hi Jane, just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? Just use that one. By the way, that script is, works so great. So look, I'm gonna paste that in here. Get the right name. Put some emojis if you want. Look her up in Facebook or however you're messaging her. Doesn't matter, whatever you want. I'm gonna use Facebook. Send her that follow-up message. Okay, so the follow-up message is sent. Now I'm gonna, when I log this in Teams, you pay attention right here. Make sure you set a new follow-up. You click on follow-up and set a new one. So I'm gonna now follow up again in two days, okay? You can leave yourself a note so that when you have a ton of these, you know what you're doing. I'm gonna send her follow-up number two in, in two days. Okay, always set the next follow-up. You wanna keep her on that follow-up list forever now until she converts, okay? Some people take forever, it feels like, <laughs> and that's okay. Do you guys see that now? Now she's due on Thursday and I have a note, I'm gonna send follow-up number two. When Thursday comes along, I'm gonna come in here and go to scripts and I'm gonna grab follow-up number two. Hi Jane, just making sure you got my message and checking to see if you have any questions. Simple follow-ups. Are you guys with me? Okay. Do you see how easy this is? Real quick on this. I just want to talk to you guys real quick about following up. <clears throat> We're almost out of time. So let me just do this quick and then we'll do some Q&A for those of you who have some questions. The follow-up is the key part of this. How many of you have heard this from somebody before? Yeah. The fortunes in the follow-up. We know Eric. Gag, gag, gag. We've heard this from everybody. Here's the statistic though. 80% of sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up. 80% of sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up. Okay, so let me break this down for you. 20% of the people who are interested in the first three days, you're gonna get the sale. Yeah, you've already got those people. Have you guys had people that were interested and then when you go to follow-up, you get no response, just crickets, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, that's because 80% of people, they're not even responding at all to like the first six or seven follow-ups. So you're getting no response at all. How many of you typically follow up 10 times? It's okay if nobody's raising their hand. Most people won't because it's back to that feeling icky. I don't want to feel icky. I don't want to come across that way, right? So we don't follow up enough. 
So we never get a response from 80% of our people, just nothing but crickets. Then we're surprised when we find out they ordered from somebody else or joined somebody else's team. Has that happened to you? Yeah, well, that's because you planted the seeds and watered them. You just stopped, you stopped tending it. Somebody else came along and they went with them when they were ready. Let me explain something to you. How many of you really feel passionately about Zingular? You feel like you're gonna help change lives through this work? Let me see your hands. Because you guys are the ones I really wanna talk to. The truth is this. If they don't get to the point where they make that purchase, you're not gonna change their life. Does this make sense? So if you really are in this business because you love people and you wanna help them, I want you to get a fundamental principle. Following up is an act of love. Following up is an act of love, okay? Write it down, put it somewhere where you see it every day, internalize that, remind yourself that following up is an act of love. And when you follow up the right way and enough, people know you care. When you fail to follow up, for whatever reason, you've made up stories for why they're not responding. Have you guys found you do that? <laughs> yeah, we make up stories. The husband's a jerk, it's the economy, they don't like me, they're not interested, they don't respect my time, whatever. That's all made up. When you don't follow up enough, you tell, this is what you've actually communicated. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. You made it too hard for me. So let's switch the thinking on this. Following up is an act of love. I'm gonna teach you how to follow up in such a way that people will love it. You can follow up 10 times and they'll thank you profusely for doing it, okay? You wanna learn it real quick? I'm just gonna teach it to you real quick. Two principles. These are the two principles for following up and never being annoying. Write these down. Principle number one, don't ask them to do anything in your follow-up message. Don't ask them to do anything. They don't need to call you. They don't need to respond. They don't need to text you back. Don't ask anything of them, okay? Great. The second principle is their, your follow-up message, they need to be able to read it without opening it. They need to be able to read it without opening it, okay? So it needs to be sent in a way they can read it and it has to be short enough they can read, see the whole message without opening it. So in other words, no voice messages. For the love of God, do not call people unexpectedly and leave them voicemails. Everybody pretty much hates that now, right? I mean, it's true, isn't it? Don't send them voice messages. Don't send them video messages. They have to be able to read it. Why do they have to be able to read it without opening it? Because they are not going to open your message because they're not able to respond right now and they don't want to look like a jerk. If, they've, if, they, if you see that they've opened the message and not responded, they feel like they're being rude. But if they don't open it, they feel like they've got to pass. How many of you have done this with people? You're like, I don't have time to respond, so I'm not going to open it. Look, everybody does it. It's okay. Just understand where people live and meet them there. Does it make sense? So here's what happens. Jackie's super interested. Oh my gosh, this is just what I've, I've been praying for an opportunity like this. This is gonna be great, right? And then crickets, no response. But here's what really happened on her end. She gets my message, she sees it. Oh yeah, that was, that was so nice. Just that conversation was so great. I need to get back to him. And then it's like, oh my gosh, did the dog really just throw up on the baby? I have to go. They go handle whatever's happening right? The next day, she, maybe she's driving her car when I message the next time. And she's, she has all good intentions of responding. You know, it, life is, keeps happening. It feels like the messages never come at the right moment. Have you noticed? And then maybe it's, maybe, you know, maybe it's just not the, her top priority right now. She's interested, but it's just not like, you know, her life is going on. But every time I send her one of these little follow-ups, she sees it. She gets, for a brief moment, she remembers um, that she's excited about it. Okay, now over time, she's going to get to a point, usually around six or seven follow-ups, where she is now, it's kind of like the guilt has built up, right? And she's going to respond and say, I'm so sorry, Eric, that I haven't responded to your messages. Thank you so much for staying in touch. I really appreciate it. Almost without fail, that's the message you get. Not, will you leave me alone? You're annoying. No, it's like, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. This is the system. You go into Teams, you connect with people. You put out your list in there so that you don't miss anybody. You stay connecting with people. Have great conversations. When they're interested, you put them on that follow-ups list. Second half of your power hour, you're sending follow-up messages. People stay on that follow-ups list. Remember, 20% of them will come off in the first week and their other 80% might be on there for months. But that's okay because every single month, a, a number of people will come off that follow-ups list and convert. 
You just got to be patient and love them through it. Not only that, but the people who join your team now have been modeled on how to do it. They become great at follow-up too. Does this make sense? Okay, so real quick, and then we'll get to Q&A. Let me just go in here and finish off this transaction in Teamsy. So Jackie, now I've been following up with her for six months. She's really made me work for this, but she finally, um, finally got to where she's ready and she's purchased her ultimate kit. She, she came in as a distributor because it was a better deal. You know, she's more of uh, just doing it for the, for the discount and the connection, not really a builder yet, but she came in and that's cool. And so how do I log this on my, on Teamsy? I looked her up on the lookup bar to go to her contact record. I'm going to click on the sale button because I just want to log that she, that she bought something. Okay. So Teamsy can track that on my business page as a statistic. And I also want to put a tag there. The tags are really useful because later I can pull a list of everybody who's bought this kit, which is neat. So I'm going to tag if, if she only bought, if she bought one little tiny product, just a sample, then I would just, I would just click sale. Um, it would be other. And then I would just put the product that she sampled. Does that make sense? But either way, I'm going to now move her over from member to whether either customer or distributor, depending on what she did, if she's a distributor, I'm going to click personally sponsored. So now she's, I've completed the whole process, moved her through the whole thing from prospect to being on my follow-ups list to converting to a member of my team. You with me? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's pretty simple. That's the, that's the system. And what you need to do is you need to get to a place where doing your power hour is like brushing your teeth. How many of you guys remember to brush your teeth today? Pretty much everybody, right? Taking care of your business needs to be like brushing your teeth. I, I always tell in my, in my boot camps, I always tell people, you know, um, if you've raised kids, how many of you have raised kids or are in the process? This is kind of an amazing statistic, but just about everybody I've ever talked to on these, and I've, I've trained over 100,000 people in the last four years on network, uh, on these Zoom calls for my house. It's amazing. Nobody has ever told me that they missed a day of giving food to their kids. How many of you successfully gave your kids food every single day of their life? <laughs> She's like, I must have missed at least one day in there. Isn't it amazing how we do? Even, were there days you didn't feel like doing it? Definitely. Go get it yourself or whatever. But we still did it because our, because our why was clear. We knew exactly what the priority was. But with, there's plenty of days where we don't feed the business. Isn't that true? And so we need to make it a habit. We need to make it something that's important. We need to understand that, that you can make people's days. You can impact lives. And you can create financial freedom and security for your family just by investing 30, 40 minutes a day. So we've got the system. Teams, it's super easy. I'm going to give you guys a couple of action steps to do. And then I'll open the, I'll open, we'll do open mics if you guys have some questions for me. Oh, that's not what I want. That's Teamsy. I want to go back to my presentation, give you your action steps. Here we go. Okay. So here's your action steps. First off, go get your 30 day free trial started if you haven't already done it. Make sure that everyone on your team is in a 30 day free trial. Now, we're doing something really cool with Zingular because you're a new network for us and we're taking off with you guys. And so we're giving you an opportunity to be founding members in Team Z for Zingular. So we have a special offer that goes through the end of March. If you guys create a subscription to Team Z before the end of March, let your team know the same thing, you get a special founder's rate, which you can be grandfathered at forever. So Team Z after the 30 day free trial is $29.99 a month, less than a dollar a day. Pretty good deal, right? But the founder's rate is $19.95 a month. So it's a third off for life. Okay? So it's a pretty great deal. So you want to make sure that you guys lock in that rate and stay grandfathered in it. You can also get an annual founder's rate, which is even better. It's $198 for the full 12-month year. Okay? So um, that comes out to like 50 cents a day. Pretty awesome to have all this planning your business for you. So make sure that you guys get your free trial set up. And if you're in a free trial, set up your subscription now so you can lock in the special rate. Also, the next action step, I want you to get a 30-day success partner or actually two success partners is a great idea too, to do this, this 30 days with. And just, just to hold each other accountable, share your goals with these people. And what I recommend you do is that every day you take a screen grab of your completed Team Z dashboard and message it to your partner or partners, okay? And then when they get that message, it's like a little gentle kick in the booty for them to go do their power hour, right? 
or maybe they're sending you that picture and it's a little kick in the booty you need it. The bottom line is I want you to, when you do your 30 day free trial of Teensy, I want it to be the best month your business has ever had. I'm not giving you a free trial so you can go look at the pretty colors on the page. I want you to build your business. Are you guys with me? The way I become successful is for you to be successful. Just as the way you, our leaders are successful is by helping your team be successful. We're all in this together. I want you guys to win. And I'm gonna give you one more action step. I will give you guys this five day challenge. The challenge is to use Teamsy for five days in a row and during that time to reach out to 100 people. Okay, that's 20 a day. You can do, honestly, you could do that in less than 30 minutes. Okay, but I want you to do it five days in a row so that you can build momentum. What will happen after reaching out to 100 people in five days is you will be freaking out a little bit. Okay, some of you will message me directly and say, what are you doing to me? You're killing me. Because I want you to feel viscerally the momentum you can create at any given moment in five days. Because a lot of you have been in the business for a while and you believe it when somebody says, oh, nothing's happening. I've already gone through my list. It's stale. I've worn it out, right? Sometimes you tell yourself those stories. It's not true. Five-day challenge. Let's go. Create momentum. You're going to be having a ton of conversations. Listen, I want you guys to understand something. Some of you feel overwhelmed. Successful people are overwhelmed too, okay? Everyone's overwhelmed. But successful people are overwhelmed with opportunity, not worry. And that's where I want you guys to get to. Forget being overwhelmed with worry. Let's get overwhelmed with opportunity, with conversations, with people we could be helping. Make sense? Okay, good. All right, so what I wanna do now is if you have some questions, um, you've got the ability to like click on your microphone and just unmute. I want you guys to feel, um, you know, just unmute and ask away and I'll be happy to answer some questions. <laughs> Eric, I just want to tell you, thank you for taking the time to share with us um, that this is pretty special that you will give of your time to um, share with us because I know that you have, you're, you're doing this every night, several appointments a week, I mean yeah. a day, and that this makes us feel very special that because you're investing in us and we appreciate that. So thank you. Oh, it's my... Look, this is what I'm teaching you to do, right? And um, I just, you know, it's a commitment I made when we started the business to personally try to try to teach these principles because I feel like we can change this industry. We can change the reputation it has and, um, and we need this industry. I mean, this, this is, so many families need the additional income. They need to, to have the tax write-offs. They need to, to have this opportunity in their lives without being afraid of it. I think it's, an, I think it's such a cool thing that people can go create a little side business. So I definitely want to be on the, on the part, on the side of helping people do that. So um, thank you for thanking me and I'm happy to be here. Thanks. I don't really have a question. I just wanted to make two comments. Um, I work every day, eight to five in a very, very busy law firm mm -hmm. and I'm able to get my entire power hour done before 830 in the morning. I mean, yes, I'm doing it at work but I'm usually there before the attorney. So I'm just saying this is so doable. And, you know, I'm like, gosh, I've done it, you know, in an hour and it's 830. So at lunch, I'll just keep connecting and doing more. So it's so feasible to do even when you work outside the home or, you know, when your kids are asleep and you get a chance. I mean, that's what I love about it. And also I was going to say, when you're talking about the follow-ups, I kind of customized it mm -hmm. with Zingular we do an eight day challenge and you basically have a success chat and you contact your new person every day of those eight days with a video and kind of saying, this is what you're probably feeling. Here's some information about these products. So I've added that to my follow up, So I don't let them fall through the cracks and go, yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot day two. So that's something that's customized for Zingular that I really, really like. And the follow ups alone, I signed 10 people up in January and I haven't done that in a long time. And I say everything is because I had the follow up list of who I needed to get back with. So I do appreciate you doing this too. And it's, it's been a life game changer for me. And That's Jackie awesome. makes the rest of us look bad because she's an overachiever. And so when she posts, we have one of those groups, we have an accountability group where everybody screenshots their yeah. progress and she makes us go, Oh my God. And, 
and then we have to dig in because she just made us all look real bad. Oh, that's good. She's leading from the front. I love it. Yes, yes, she is. She's, yes, she's kicking our tails. That's an awesome story. And you know what you could do, Jackie, if you haven't already done this, is you can take those, um, those eight follow-ups, those specific things, and you could save them as scripts in your own account. You can save scripts? Yeah, you can put your own scripts in there so that they're at your fingertips. So when you come up and it says, and you left yourself a note that it's day three follow-up, um, day three challenge follow-up, whatever you're leaving in your note, you can go in and grab your script, which you've labeled, copy it, paste it, and just customize it and send it. You can have your links, because I know you're sending videos and things, right? So you can have the links embedded in those and have everything saved in the script. Honestly, the scripts thing was my favorite thing that I wanted when I, when I originally kind of um, laid out Teamsy. Not because I, I didn't know that I was going to need the scripts so much for other people to need my scripts, but to be able to put your own in. So, for example, I had an email that I wrote with every single product solution that I offered. And the email had the purchasing links, my purchasing links embedded in it. It had the videos embedded in it that they needed. It had any sort of attachments that they needed, all of it programmed in and saved as a script. So when somebody was, was talking to me about, oh, well, I need to lose 25 pounds for my wedding. Here's, and you know, and we had this great talk and they're, they're already doing, this is the exercise I'm doing. These are the limitations, I, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm going, great, I have, a, I have a solution I'm going to prescribe for you. I think this is the perfect program for you. And I'm going to send you that information in an email right now. Everything you need is in that email. The info, the links, the purchasing, everything. And I'll follow up tomorrow. And then I would go to my scripts. Boom. It was like instant on my phone. And they'd be like, how did you write that so fast? No, I had it ready. It's all good. But you know, and so you just become so professional this way. You can put all these things into Teamsy. Those of you guys who are newer in the business, you're going to be writing all these messages from scratch. So when you write a message to somebody, save it. And then next time you have somebody, you just refine it. Over time, you get these things as boilerplates and they're perfect. Does that make sense? Thank and you. so mm -hmm. even, even when, when we launched Teamsy and people had FAQs and questions, I had a... Um, I had a duck, one of those, you know, I have an iPhone. So notes, you know, the notes app. Every time someone asked me a question uh, and I answered it, I saved the, my answer on notes. And then when we, when we grew to where we hired a customer service team, I just shared the note. I said, here's the answer to every question. And they were like, oh, okay, great. So then they started keeping track. You know what I mean? So, so don't, you can use the technology, you guys, to save your brain work and time and energy, and, it's, and you can serve people better. Does this make sense? So anyways, I get excited about this stuff. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? I know I gave you a lot of info already. I have a question. Hi there. I have a question. How do you, how do I want to say it? Reset? In Teamsy? Reset. What do you want to reset? Like the whole thing? <laughs> like you, you want to just like wrong. start fresh? Yeah, there you go. You want to take, so run it just so I understand your question. Do you want to like take all the contacts out, clear it and start over or, or just reset? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Would that be the easiest thing to do? Well, I don't really know what you want to do before I tell you what to do. Um, where, where are you at? Where, where's, what's your challenge right now that you're facing? Because you know the dashboard. I had it up there before and I don't know what I did, whether, but I don't have anything on the dashboard anymore. Okay. I have to go into my team, into my listing okay. and make contacts that way. All right. So what's happened is you've already contacted everybody that's on your list or postponed them a week. And so um, they're not going to come back on the dashboard until the time period goes by that is, that is set to their star rating. So for example, if they were a three star, they will come back on your dashboard mm -hmm. 90 days after you connect with them. Okay. So this is to okay. keep, this is to keep people cycling. So what you may need to do is rank some people higher if you want to talk to them more often. So let's say five stars, they come back every month. Okay. But um, what's going to happen is if you guys get to where you're doing a bunch of power hours and suddenly your list is empty, you either need to look at ranking people up or you really need to get after building your list up, getting more people on your list. And usually, okay. usually people can come up with 100 or 200 people 
just the people they haven't thought of putting on their list yet if they really think about it. You can go through your friends on Facebook and look at their friends and go, oh, I know him, I know her, I know her, I know him, and start adding them to your list and connecting with them, right? And even in the, even in the business outside of direct sales, as a consultant for real estate teams and, and brokerages over the years, I've found that, that people know two or 300 more people than they have on their list originally. So right now, Rhonda, you, your job is to, is to rack your brains and add people to that list on Teamsy. And if you genuinely don't have a lot more people that you know, then your goal is to start meeting people, okay? And you need to think about how you can meet people. Not, be, not, not meeting, and let me just clarify, not meeting people who wanna buy Zingular, just meeting people so that you can build relationships with them because every single person you meet is gonna at least know people who need your solution. Does this make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. So how can yeah. you meet people? You can join organizations, you can get involved at church, you can volunteer, you can do things like that. You can meet people online. This is the easiest thing these days is to get into, uh, find um, people that are interested in things that you're interested in, join Facebook groups, meet people that way, create Facebook groups. This is what I did in my business, by the way. Um, it worked really great was creating little groups, like seven day groups with the challenge. You guys have seen a million of these, right? Um, water drink, hydration challenge, seven days. We're gonna, drink, we're gonna drink a gallon of water a day for seven days. Who wants to join the challenge? And you get people joining your group and you tell, you tell your friends, you can add your friends freely to this group. I'm gonna, we're gonna have an accountability for seven days on how to drink water. I would do a group like that and meet 30 new people, put them on my, in my Teamsy. Um, no sugar for a week. Uh, I mean, you guys are health related, so so many things you can do, right? Um, some friends of mine who are Juice Plus distributors, they do this detox between Thanksgiving and Christmas where it's like a, it's like a, a organic cranberry lemon with uh, apple cider vinegar and water concoction that you mix together. And you agree to drink it before every meal for, for seven days. And they, they, they add dozens of people to this group who people who wanna detox their liver between the holidays. Like little things like that that you guys can do, get creative to meet people. And then as they join the group, say, welcome to the group. You know, my name is Eric, welcome to my group. I see that you were introduced uh, by Jackie. Welcome, hopefully this will be of value to you, you know, and hopefully we can stay connected and that's it. And then you stay connected, <laughs> right? Over time, you build trust. They see, you're in the, they see the cool stuff you're doing in the group. You build trust over time, connect, and then you warm those relationships up. Some of you guys, your heads look like you're going like this. I've given you a lot of stuff to work on tonight, but I want you guys to know that building this business, oh gosh, I feel like everybody's teaching the stuff that's not about relationships. And, and that's, where, that's where it's at. That's what we do naturally, isn't it? Right? So try to think, think of things like this, like, you know, how, how am I investing in this person? How can I serve this person? How can I bring value to this relationship? You know? And, and if you're coming from that place, you're going to build trust. You're going to build interest. You're going to find people who are interested in learning more about what you're doing. All right. We have one more. I know I have my homework to look up where in Oklahoma my family lived last please, before they please moved. Please do and let us know because we would love to know that. I will find out and let you guys know. We'll find out if we're cousins. You... I mean, Johnson, you know, we, we're everywhere. Johnson's are everywhere. Um, yeah. I know we've got some Texas people too. We were in Texas before Oklahoma. My family migrated. We were, we're, um, we're Jamestown Colony, Virginia. My, well, we, we expect, so, you know, an answer like ASAP. Uh, no, I've got it. I, I literally have this. Look, I have the family history book right here. I'm going to look it up. I know I've got their birth certificates in there. I'm going to send it right to you right after the call. Genealogy ASAP. Yeah, it's pretty cool. cool. So I just want to say thanks, you guys. Hopefully this was really valuable to you. We are so excited to have Zingular be part of our family. And um, I just want to get, I just want as many people to take advantage of that special pricing as we can before March 25th. Um, I will, I recorded this call. I will send you the recording, Jackie, uh, probably in the morning. You'll have that recording so you can share it with the rest of the team. Sure. But thank, thank you for the chance to be here. God bless you guys. Have a great night. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Thank, thank you. you very much.